I noticed when I was putting the camper back down that the hydraulics were slow. So we'll check the hydraulics here on the Super C. And when you check the hydraulics, you always have the rock shafts towards the rear. So both of these selectors here, these are your touch control unit um, valves here. And so what you do is you, you push both of those back towards the driver's seat. That retracts the piston inside here so all the oil is inside instead of extended out. So this is how you determine the correct level of hydraulic fluid in a Super C. these off I fill it until it weeps out the top and like I said I've got the cylinders retracted so that'll give it room to expand when you move it you always want to do it with it retracted because if I added it with it out then when it retracts the oil's got no place to go I just put this on hand tight for the moment because I'm going to cycle it a couple times and that'll let the air out and we won't end up messing up our seals or anything. So when I start the tractor back up, it'll let the air out of there and then I'll tighten this up. And with a Super C, the way that you check the oil is you take the top one. This is the pet cock here, so you open the top pet cock and you can see the oil coming out. So I've got plenty of oil in there. When you when you fill it, you you train it here, then you open both of these up until it comes out the bottom one, and then that's your low oil point, and then you keep filling it until it comes out the top, and that's your high oil point. So then once it stops dripping out the top a little bit, you close the top one up, and then you've got a, the level in between. With a super C, you can put a pin in here, and then when you lower your draw bar down. That'll pick the wheel up off the ground so you can change the wheel setting on it. The intention, if it stops raining long enough and the ground will dry out just enough so I can get out there, I need to go turn the soil over in the garden so I'm going to use the super C and my two bottom plow so we're just finishing up getting this ready to use and the last the tractor's been greased the oil's been changed everything is in good shape I just realized I need to tighten up these nuts or bolts on the oil pan just a little bit for some reason they weep weeps around the gasket just a little bit sometimes. I don't know why those get loose. But I for sure don't want to snap these off up in there. I had a an M that I had to change the water jacket on and that didn't end well. I had to easy out. That's Murphy's Law. They all came out perfectly except for one. And so let's go check this oil in the filter, the air cleaner. This one's interesting, it's got a flathead screw on it instead of a wing nut. And it's still got a good color to it, so we'll keep it. Looks fine. in the radiator and it's cooled off. Unlike a cub, a Super C has a pressurized system. It's got a water pump in it. And I can see the I can see the fluid in there so or the antifreeze. You can see it. So there's plenty of that. And then 
Some people do this one way or the other. I like it so that when it's on, and you close it, the little handle thing faces towards the back. Some people have it towards the front. I've always made them go towards the back. 